Art is every single thing in the universe. Every single day you wake up, you make a decision, an artistic decision. From what shoes you wear, what clothes you wear, to what car you drive, what kind of coffee, what kind of branding, every single aspect of every single person's life relies upon art in some respect. I'm Matt Eaton. I'm the director and curator of Red Bull House of Art in Detroit. You're taking someone who stereotypically uh, is seen as a starving, less fortunate person, choosing a career as an artist and giving them the help and support they need to elevate their circumstances, um, their environment, their uh, process, everything, and um, getting them to a point where they are confident in what they're doing and have the resources available to them to execute on a grand scale. The mission here, obviously, is to give people wings. It's absolutely not a matter of finding the coolest artists. It's a matter of finding the most passionate artists with the most to lose if they take any risks and giving them an opportunity to really take risks. It's interesting because this has been like an incredibly transformative three months for me. When I was in school, it was all assignment based. So I was making projects based on a prompt. And when I do client work, it's always, you know, somebody else's idea. And here I was given this like beautiful and horribly daunting and wonderful gift where they said, make whatever you want. And so I spent a lot of time like really going inward and thinking like, okay, what is it that I actually do want to make? For the longest time, I wasn't really considering it work. I always made my living as a creative in one way or another. I started making the ray guns as a hobby, but it never really occurred to me to expand beyond that until Matt asked me to be in the House of Art. One of the things that fascinates me are the ambitions within art. Most of my work uh, is basically based off of conversations I've had with other artists or other artists' ambitions, uh, whether they be figurative or uh, um, non-representational. Before coming to Red Bull, I didn't know any of the artists. That's one of the, the great things about being here, was being able to meet new artists and actually uh, develop new processes based on what they do as well and add it to my own and, and vice versa. I think I set a very ambitious goal for myself, and I think we all did. And when you realize that three months isn't a lot of time <laughs> to sometime uh, carry out certain goals, that's where the chaos comes in. Until, until you're faced with a challenge, sometimes you don't know what you can do. The residency here definitely helped me become a better artist. Especially now, I know what I'm capable of doing. I always try to get people to look at everyday objects with a little bit more interest than they usually do. I like to get people to look at things more and look at their life as a composition. My process is coming up with something in my brain that I like and then getting it to the canvas. I'm not always concerned about what people are thinking about it. I'm not trying to do some grand thing like trying to make a statement about man versus nature or one of those like big ideas. It's just like, I like pretty pictures. So it's, if I think of something and I think it's striking and visually I, I like it, that's what I go with. Ultimately the, the goal is to continue to help and support local artists and leave a legacy of inspiration for um, every other creative person in the city of Detroit we're never going to be automotive capital of the world. It's never going to be Motown again. It always will be, but we need to create a different future for Detroit. And hopefully it's one that's just full of art and music and poetry and dance and everything. That would, I would love that anyway. <laughs>